Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial, my name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over customizing your text in the Blender Game Engine. Now in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to change the quality of the text as well as how to change the color. So if you just open up Blender by default and add yourself some text like so and press P, then it will be set to white by default and it will look something like this. However, if you go ahead and move it close to the camera, maybe for an overlay or something, and you go ahead and press P, then it gets really pixelated and usually looks quite bad. Now there is one way to fix this, and this is to uh, scale it up so it's really big, and then just move it really, really far away from the camera. Uh, for example, this here. So if we were to scale this, uh, like so, and then press P, you'll notice the text is very crisp. So you can use that method. However, this doesn't always work well, especially for a sign or something that the player can walk up to. So in most cases, this technique won't work. In case that does happen, then what you can do is go over to the game logic. And what we're going to do is run a really small script that will up the quality of all the text objects and also allow us to change the color. So what I'm gonna do here is add an always, true pulse, add a Python controller, join the two together, add ourselves a new script, call this uh, text quality, and you can put .py if you want to. Now in the first line here, I'm going to uh, import BGE, then cont is equal to bge.logic.getCurrentController, and own is equal to cont.owner. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to apply the text changes to all the scenes so that any underlays, any overlays, and all of that stuff, they all have the text changed at the same time. So to do that, what we're going to do is type in scene is equal to bg.logic, and we want the scene list. So get scene list. And I'm just going to zoom in here so you can see it better. And then what we want to do with the scene list is for i in scene, for j in scene.objects, and a colon next line. Now what we want to do is check for any objects that have the word text in them. So if text in j, except this is the raw object and we want a lowercase string version of it. So str to convert it to a string and then dot lower to make it lowercase so it matches this. And if that's true, do a colon, next line, and what we want to do here is set the quality. So j dot resolution is equal to round about four. So by default, it's set to one, which is, I think, 72 DPI. I'm guessing two is double that and so on. Uh, so four is definitely plenty. You shouldn't need more than that. Now, if you want to give all the text a different color that isn't white, what you can also do is put in here j.color is equal to, and then a square bracket, oops, square bracket, and the red value, maybe let's make it 1.0, a comma, the green value, so maybe nothing, then a comma, and the blue value. Let's make that 1.0. And then another comma, and this here is the alpha value, so how see-through you want the text to be. Uh, I don't want it to be see-through, so I'm gonna make that 1.0. Alright, and so now that should give us a purple color. Put that text in here. Now before we run it, let's change this here to I, as this is the scene we're looking at. And then now what we also want to do is turn off true. We only need this to run once. And so if we press P, we have pink text at a really high resolution. So we can scale it down and move it close to the camera, uh, like it was before. So let's move it in, like so. And you'll notice here, even now, it's still high resolution. You can also go ahead and experiment with all the different colors here. This will bring out yellow, I think. And if you want to check what color it makes, you can go down here to the materials, add a new one. Uh, and then you can just put in the values here, uh, these three, and put those in the first three and just experiment. So for example, if we want orange, 0 0.8, uh, 0 0.13. So 0 0.8, 0 0.13, 134, and that was pretty much nothing, I think 0 0.01. And so now if we press B, there you go, we've got orange text. And if I remove the material, we still have orange text. Now this alpha function here, I'll just quickly show you working. Maybe 
0 0.5 will make it half visible as you can see here so if we go and put a cube or something behind it then you'll be able to see that through it now if you don't want all your text to be the same color what you can do is go down here underneath the resolution so once you've set the high resolution uh, you want to check the object uh, for the color so if j so this is the object you're referring to is equal to and then the name of the object you want to change so for example if I select my text here uh, this is called text I'll press shift D G Y make it a copy and move it up there so this one's called text.001 and this one here is just called text so if J is equal to just text and then we'll do a colon next line now you're gonna have to increment this so press tab now also you have to change this to a string so put that around there str and so now if you press P then you notice one is orange and the other one is just white you can also put in else if string j is equal to text dot one then j dot color is equal to and then I don't know make it something else and 1.0 so now this one should be yellow and that one should be orange and there you go so that's the end of this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did let me know with a like comment or share down below if you have any other suggestions or problems or anything like that let me know down below as well but apart from that hope you enjoyed the tutorial have an awesome week and i'll see you guys in the next video